Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Mitchell here with another logic tutorial. Uh, I had a question um, over how to change tempo uh, within a song, and uh, I thought it was a great idea to make a video out of. So I'm doing that right now. Um, all right, check it out. When it says global tracks appear above all of the um, channel strips, and uh, it turns out there's a tempo uh, bar right here that we can change. If you've watched my uh, basics video, I believe, I showed you how to change the tempo right here. Uh, it turns out you can do a little bit more than that with this tempo bar right here. And I'm going to extend this down just so we have a little bit more room to, to work with here. Now, uh, I want you guys to imagine this as an automation line on any channel strip, okay? And what we can do with automation lines uh, on channel strips is make points and then drag uh, up or down and then you can change a certain setting over a period of time. And if you want to change the tempo at a, over a period of time, you do the exact same thing. But instead of just clicking on the line, there's a little hand that comes up. And what you have to do is double click on that line, double left click. So I'm going to double click right here. And I can set the quantization to one out of one so it snaps to a beat. All right, awesome, sick, I know, right? And if you want to grab this little dot right here and bring it up, turns out it's a little bit diff more difficult than that. You have to like, you have to make a hard transition from 120 to, in this case, 129, or I'm going to do it to 130, just because you know I like those numbers even. You know what I'm saying? So you have this jump from 120 to 130 and to make it a straight line what we can do is grab this bottom corner and bring it no no we can bring it over and so we can even make a curve a tempo curve out from this little, from this node down here that we grabbed from the bottom right hand corner all right and turns out if we want it to make it a straight line it knows that and it snaps it right into place. Bows, right? Bows. And then you can just, you know, do these anywhere you want. Be like, I want one on this corner and I want to make it I want to make it go up to 130 and then go back down to 120 again. So there you are. You just it's just pretty much basically like automation in any channel strip. All right, and then as it goes along, it will increase and then decrease as this line shows. All right, it's really that simple. That's all you need to know. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe like usual. Uh, you all have yourself a great day.